Our next guest is living proof that it's never too late to turn your life around. After spending a total of 30 years behind bars, he recently graduated college at 63 years old with honors. Now he's hoping his story will help inspire others. Everybody, let's welcome Joseph! So congratulations. I was saying this when you walked out here a minute ago. I, it's, it's inspiring, like what, what you're doing, just telling your story. But when you see that photo of you standing there with a degree, like what do you see? Well, my, my idea that morning when I, when I made that photo was uh, I had never seen nobody make, make that, that type of photo. So. Mm. You take the, the perception, you take the, the cap away, you take the, uh, the, the degree away, and what do you have? You're going to think a guy that's been to prison. And I, made it, I did it with honors because I made straight A's for two semesters in a row. I made the president's honor, honor list, and I, I qualified for the dean's list because I ended up with a 3.67 uh, GPA. Oh, my God. Last Friday, I was accepted to the master's program at Cal State Ooh. University Long Beach. Wow. Oh. Oh my gosh! Um, so Joseph, take us back to your previous life. What did it look like? Uh, I lived an ugly life. Mm. You know, I started running around with, with gangs at an early age, and, and I started using and abusing drugs and alcohol. Mm. At 18 years old, um, I got in trouble, and, and, and the judge uh, gave me the option. You either go to prison, stay in prison for two years, or, or join the military, which I did. That was a no-brainer, so I ended up going to the military for four years, and I, and I discharged uh, with honorable discharge. Mm. And, um, well, I went right back to my neighborhood and I started doing the same things, and I was only out of the military five months when I went to uh, state prison for the first of 40 times, because that's how many times I've been to prison. Seven terms and 33 violations, wow. 80s, 90s, and 2000s. Whoa. Not once wow. in all that time did anybody ever ask me, hey, Joseph, you got a drug problem and you want, you want some help? Nobody, nobody, not once in all that time. I was going to ask, like, why do not you think once. you kept going back? And it's because not that, once. you didn't, no support system. No support system, no resource, no nothing. And the, it's that particular, you know, they weren't offering any type of uh, rehabilitation. Yeah. Right, so um, I ended up calling rehabs, right? I called, like, like six different rehabs, and I ended up calling the, the Salvation Army of Anaheim, Adult Rehabilitation Center, and they said, sure, come on in. And that was... Uh, in so April. you called a bunch of places to get help? None of them. None of them, none of them would take me. Wow, that... None of them. Wow. The Salvation Army uh, took me in. Mind you, I'm three, three, three months shy of 55 years old when I, when, I, when I entered the Salvation Army. Well, Joseph, how did you end up going back to school? Well, I was at the Salvation Army. I, I, uh, I started... They let me go out, and, and um, I started using my discharge, my benefits. Yeah. I had never used them before, and all that time, I had never used them. And one of the veterans counselors asked me if I had ever thought about going to school. No. I know that we were talking right before we were on air, and you were like, this wasn't my intention, you know, was to be some kind of story for everyone. You know, it was for you. You did it for you. But it is inspiring what you're doing. Well, that picture went viral, Kelly. I sat in my room for an hour, and I cried like a little yeah. boy. Mm. All the positive feedback. My mom, my sister, my brother, my, my uncle, whatever, they all want to go to rehab. Or you motivated me to go back to school. Yeah. Or you motivated me. And I cried like a little. My mom's been gone since 2006. Mm -hmm. And, and, and she, she'd never seen me uh, the, uh, in recovery. She didn't see the turnaround. Uh, I want to cry. <sighs> if my story uh, inspires somebody, and above everything else, if my story gives somebody hope, so be it. Mm -hmm. Because all of my life, I took, I took, I took, and I took some more from society. I really did. Mm. And sometimes I wasn't nice about it. But, but today, I have to give unconditionally with a loving heart. Mm. You know, I could go through the motion and just give, you know, but I, I, I do it today with a loving heart. Yeah. You know? you know, a lot of people I hear lose hope in those environments. There's not a lot of hope no belief in, in rehabilitation. And, and this is one of those stories that really needs to be heard because I don't know, I'm with my, I, to a fault, you can ask all my friends, I believe that people can change. And, and I, could, could change. I do, I believe that people can change. And I feel like the day I stop believing that, I, what? Oh, babes, everything's fine.
I think the day that you stop believing that people can change is, is kind of the day you die. That's, that's true. I, 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 tend to tell, I tend to tell people that I'm a late, late, late bloomer. <laughs> I tell people that with my chest. <laughs> I was like, look, they're going to come. <laughs> I was like, I, I asked God. Um, well, we, we know that um, you want to continue on with school and get your master's. And um, so um, we were talking about giving you twenty five. We're going to give you $5,000 to help you keep furthering your education because I, I believe in you, and I think it's really important what you're doing. All right? And I'm so sorry. I'm crying like a baby. It's been a rough year, Joseph. Oh, um, <laughs> uh, oh, God. We, oh gosh, oh, I'm no. so sorry. Oh, it's everybody. just the day, right? Oh. Here you go. Joseph, don't, Joseph. Oh, wow. Oh, man. I'm crying too. Oh, this is such an emotional show. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this much from the show, Kelly. I know, oh my gosh. Joseph, it's time though. It's one of those things, Ooh. I'm telling you. I believe in you. We just met and I believe that you can Joseph, do you should so be many so amazing proud things. Of yourself, sir. <laughs> Honestly, tears are okay. All the years my mom never gave up hope on me. Even at my words, she never gave up hope on me. <laughs> That's a mama. Oh. I mean, that, I'm a mama, so there, yeah, there will be no time in my life while I'm breathing that I give up on either of my children. Want more fun stuff? I thought so. Check out these videos floating around my head. This one is really cool. I'm just saying. No pressure. <laughs>